welcome or welcome back to another one of my videos. Today, we're starting a new chapter. It is a new year, it is a new me. I am leaving Gamer Jazzy in the past. If you've been following me on all of my other socials, you will know that crochet is like my lifeline. It is my passion. I absolutely love it. And I do it every single day, every waking moment of every minute of every second of every day. So it just makes sense to turn this channel into something that I have more passion for and that I actually have the enthusiasm and motivation to edit and put out. I'm on my crochet grind and for ages now I've wanted to make a crochet video and 2023 I feel like is going to be I want it to be the year for me and my crochet business so I want to start off the year by showing you everything that I made last year in 2022. Oh I also want to just say the main reason why I stopped uploading Stardew Valley videos and Animal Crossing videos anyway is I have a big backlog I have a lot of videos that I actually recorded I have one that's basically fully edited but when I was filming that last video I actually found out that I had a cyst which wasn't very nice and I ended up having to have surgery for it and the healing process has been absolutely awful and I'm still suffering from it to this day. I also started a new job and so it has just been too much work to sit down and edit but I have continued to crochet obviously and I post regularly on TikTok and Instagram and so that has kind of been like my creative outlet and that's why I've put gaming in the past and I'm focusing on crochet now so obviously this year as well I graduated from university with a first class degree in production design for stage and screen Thank you very much and so I didn't properly start intensely crocheting again this year until like mid-July you know I'll, I'll show you some pictures of my FMP because I'm proud of it and it's fucking cool if you haven't seen it on my Instagram then you can see it right now my crochet stuff kind of starts a little bit late in the year this year but there's still a lot to go through but without further ado let's get into what I made in 2022 if you've been following my crochet journey from the beginning which started in 2020 I believe during the lockdown when everyone was scrambling around to figure out what to do when they had too much time on their hand and like many I picked up crocheting it's actually the first thing that I started streaming with and that's kind of how I built a lot of my community so shout out to you guys for sticking with me from the beginning I really do appreciate it but I have made all sorts of stuff. I've made Ami Gurumi, I did hats. My very, very, very first project though was actually a cardigan. And like most, I think I was very inspired to start crocheting because of the infamous J.W. Anderson cardigan that Harry Styles wore. And I didn't know how to do that at the time. Obviously that is knit and I didn't knit. So I ended up just making a really bad crochet cardigan using just single crochet squares. So I will insert a picture of that right now and I want to show you this because I just want to show you the growth that two nearly three years of work can do. As I have continued to crochet I have realized that I am not an amigurumi girly. I am not a small like I'm not a small crochet gal. I am someone who likes to make wearables. I love making cardigans and vests as you may be able to tell, and hats. So that is primarily what I've been making over the past couple of years, and that is what I've primarily been making this year. Why don't we start off with the smaller stuff, such as hats? So I've actually forgotten a lot of the things that I made this year so I had to go back through my phone to make sure that I actually knew what I'd made but hat wise I made quite a few fun little hats. So one of the very first hats I made was actually by one of my mutuals in the crochet community. Um, her name is Callista and I Oh, I love her so much. She has made some of the coolest patterns I have like ever seen. And this one is called the Oopsie Daisy hat. And it's just so precious. I actually won this in one of her giveaways. So shout out to you. Thank you so much. And I made this really cute forget me not colorway one, which you can see Scott modeling beautifully here. And then later on in the year, I actually made another one out of cotton and it looks like an actual daisy, although it kind of gives me egg vibes as well. So so those were the first ones and I will link her socials down below. I also just want to shout out Crochet Callista's tulip hat as well. One of my favourite patterns ever and I wore my hat religiously when I was at uni so shout out to that pattern too. And then because I was kind of like in the hat mood I started making these checkerboard hats as well and I actually only ended up finishing one of them which you can see Scott wearing here and it was inspired 
by a shirt that Sam Winchester was wearing whilst I was going through my Supernatural binge. So that was cute. I did start another one, but I never finished it. So we're not going to talk about that. And then I took a break from hats for a while and then came back to it when I was fully bedridden with this medical emergency. And I made a buttload of granny stripe hats and they were all so so cute i loved them all so much and a couple of them were actually accidentally inspired by the fimbles and i ended up looking like them so i will post some pictures here they were so fun to make they were quick and easy i made like four in one day once and that was kind of all of the hats that i made this year not that many but now we're gonna move on to cardigans i oh i love a good crochet cardigan if you haven't made a crochet cardigan yet you need to make a crochet cardigan because they are so fun and they're actually really easy to make depending on like the style but the ones that I make and like the ones I love making are super duper easy so to start off with I made this primary colored patchwork faux patchwork cardigan which I just absolutely love again it is very very inspired by the JW Anderson Harry Styles cardigan that is infamous but it is so easy to make I made all of the stripes first so I made like instead of making the squares individually I made them all in like one long stripe and then sewed each stripe together super easy I'm thinking of writing a pattern for it this year so fingers crossed I actually do that because I would love to get into pattern making this year and in the same vein I finished off a cardigan that I have named my utopia cardigan which is just so beautiful it's such beautiful vibrant colors it's so rich it's made out of cotton which is so like heavy and like nice to wear it feels like a nice little comforting hug when you put it on and I've worn it so much recently especially during this winter time so again I'd love to make a pattern for it to share with you guys and it was just so much fun just so much fun and then lastly for cardigans I actually did my very very first pattern test this year which was really really awesome it was for Lucy on Instagram whose username is underscore cliche underscore flower pattern cardigan it was so gorgeous and I was so thankful to have been chosen to pattern test this cardigan it was so much fun I loved the colors that I used it was supposed to look like flowers in the grass with the sun like peeping through the clouds I just think it came out so nice it fits really well and the pattern was so easy to follow as well it was an overall great time and I would again recommend getting that pattern I will link her socials down below so you can go grab it for yourself and I believe that concludes our cardigan portion of this video now let's talk about the jumpers that I have made this year. I don't believe there are actually that many. Yeah, actually there's only one, <laughs> but it is my cat afghan jumper this kind of popped off on instagram and kind of gave me the boost that i needed to get more followers and to really build a community on instagram so shout out to this jumper but the pat pattern the pat pattern but the cat portion of this jumper is actually a afghan pattern by sarah miller maxfield i just followed that but made it shorter and obviously didn't continue it forever i did a back panel and so and so but my favorite part of this jumper is the little ruffle collar i just think it is so 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 cute and I'm so happy that I did it even though it like it took forever to do because I had to change colors so many times but it was completely worth it in the end and I absolutely love this jumper I did make it a little bit tight around my waist so I don't wear it as often as I wish I did but I may change that at some point during the new year I just haven't had time <laughs> in a similar vein to jumpers i made these crochet sleeves or shrugs and i followed the pattern by made in the moment who is another incredible crochet creator everyone and their grandma has made these shrugs at this point i was at work the other day and i was talking to a girl who was crocheting and she said that she's made these crochet sleeves and i said made in the moment and she said yeah and i said yeah <laughs> i love these they were so easy to make so fun and i do wear these actually more than i thought i would i'm not a very like crochet sleeve kind of girly or at least i didn't think i was i keep calling myself girly i'm non-binary and it makes me feel a little bit weird. So we're gonna stop saying that. Mid video gender crisis. Anyway, I do really like these shrugs though. They are really nice. And I actually have also made scrappy jumper that she has as well. And I literally just need to finish the sleeve and I'm done. But I, I, I refuse for some reason. So we'll get that done at some point. Now onto probably the largest portion of this video, which are my crochet vests. I don't know where this came from, but I all of a sudden became a fiend for crochet vests. I have made so many this year, and I think it's because they are kind of like cardigans. 
<laughs> in the sense that you can wear them but they take less time to make because you don't have to make sleeves <laughs> i started by making this purple gingham one which was my very first one ever and at first i absolutely hated it i did not think it looked good at all but then i put it on a couple of weeks ago and i was like hmm this is actually fire this is actually kind of really good so i obviously continued to wear it and it's become one of my favorite pieces now and i just think the gingham is so cool i love gingham i need to do it more often and i want to do another one but i've just been so busy recently with work and you'll find out more pattern testing that I just haven't been able to, but I would like to make another one in the future. And then the second vest I made was this dog tooth purple and green little moment, which I think is just so cool. This was definitely a learning curve for me because I accidentally crocheted the second half of the vest like backwards, which to the untrained eye wouldn't be noticeable, but to me, I can see a difference like one color like comes through a little bit better than the other and you know I worked with it and it was absolutely fine in the end and again it was something that I kind of like came up with myself I was inspired by this one YouTube tutorial which I will link or put a screenshot of here so I kind of like went based off of that but some of it was like my own came from my own brain so I was pretty proud of it and then from there on it just it just spiraled. I then made this one, which is this pink and green. I've really been into pink and green this year as well. It's been kind of crazy, but I made this pink and green dog tooth one. And then when I was again bedridden, I made a purple and blue one. And I love every single one of them. They've all come out really nicely. They all fit really nice and I'm super happy with them. And I do think that I might write a pattern for this as well. Again, if I have time next year, there's like 20 different things that I want to write a pattern for next year. So whoa i need to calm down after i made this one so whilst i was still at uni i actually made a matching vest for me and my builder bear you can see him in the background this little frog but you can't see his vest but i will post a picture and so i made this um linen stitch vest for me and frobert now this vest is not that good Mm -mm, it is not it may appear good but it's not that good um this one was completely off my own brain and the moss stitch or the linen stitch is quite difficult to increase and decrease and i just i messed it up i messed it up ever so slightly so i may i may remake this in the future but i'm actually honestly not that bothered it's not that bad once it's on and i've worn it a couple times out and it it isn't that bad but to me it's not that great so and then my last two projects of 2022 were another two pattern test vests one was for above crochet on instagram and it was her forget me not vest which was as soon as i saw it i was like if i don't get chosen for this I'm just gonna buy it when it comes out. <laughs> I was lucky enough to be chosen and it was so fun. I accidentally had a crisis in the middle of making it. I was blocking my work and I took it off the foam pads. I unpinned it. I threw it to one side. Little did I know I had accidentally just thrown it onto something that had wet paint on it. Um, I instantly burst into tears and my partner Scott was very nice about it and he put it under hot water and gently scrubbed it and we managed to get like the majority of the paint out. It stained it ever so slightly but you can't really tell so <sighs> thank you. Um, and it came out so cute in the end. It was so much fun to do. I love tapestry crochet if you haven't noticed by now i love doing color work i love it i love it i love it in the same vein as crochet tapestry the other pattern test that i finished last year was by flower rick on instagram and it was her soup sprite vest again this was another one that when i saw i was like i need this right now and i actually have a video of me unboxing some yarn where i had preemptively she hadn't even announced who the testers were yet preemptively bought yarn to make this vest with and i was like whether i'm chosen or not this will be going in my basket and again i was chosen and i was so happy and i finished that recently and i again absolutely love it it's just such a cute such a fun pattern it's so easy to make as well so i will put all of the creators that i mentioned in this video down below please go check them out please go follow them go buy their patterns support them they're absolutely amazing now i want to give some honorable mentions for this year the first one being this really cute like winter set i made which was a cat hat and some granny square gloves this was my 
my first time making granny square gloves and they're so cute oh my god i wore them to work so many times because it was so cold at work it was just the best and they look really cute together one of my favorite things that i've made this year second being the baby blanket that i made my cousin who is expecting this year in january and i'm so excited but i made her this star shaped blanket using this absolutely gorgeous yarn and again this picture like absolutely popped off on Instagram and brought in a lot of people to the community so again I'm really like grateful for this blanket and I think it's because of my cat Norman I mean if this picture doesn't melt your heart I don't know what to say. And then lastly, I want to shout out Wool and Buggers for letting me pattern test their Fishy Alex jumper, which I don't know if at the time of recording I will have finished or not, but I will post a picture of how far in I am. <laughs> this was another jumper that I was like, this needs to be on my body right now. Are you joking? I remember posting on their testicle post. Testicle? I mean, that is what it is. On their post uh, asking for testers, saying that this gives me big granddad vintage vibes. And I was like, I need this. And so it's really happy to be chosen again. And it's coming up so fast and I love it. I'm I'm literally so excited. One more honorable mention I forgot about was this scarf that I made my mum for Christmas. I crocheted her the Rupert the Bear scarf from the Rupert the Bear annuals because she loves Rupert the Bear and she absolutely loves it and she's worn it nearly every single day and tells anyone she possibly could about it and it's just so sweet. So yes, that's another thing that I'm super happy with this year. And I believe that is everything that I have made this year. Oh, no, we are forgetting one thing. So if you've followed me on TikTok, for a long time you'll have known that 2021 i made my very very first mood blanket and i think i was one of the very first people to actually do this especially on tiktok and it's been so so cool to see people tag me in theirs and say that they were inspired by me like thank you so much that's honestly like the coolest thing ever and i did start one for 2022 um i think i just finished june <laughs> I love her. I love my mood blanket. This one especially is like so cool. I'm so happy with the stitch and the colors that I chose, but it is such a mammoth task. It is something you really have to commit to. And because I was so busy with uni and, you know, I wanted to take my crochet business a bit more seriously and, you know, I started a job, it just never got finished. So I would like to finish it in 2023. I have kept track of my mood throughout the year. So I have all of the colors and, you know, I, I know when I need to add to it. It's just not something that I can finish in the next two days because it's currently the 29th of December right now. So, and it is actually in a position where I can use it as a blanket because I made it fucking massive. So I'm not too like sad about it, but she is, she's there. And like I said, I would like to finish it in 2023, but I will not be making one for 2024. This is me telling you that you don't need to make one either. <laughs> you don't have to make a temperature blanket. You don't have to make a mood blanket. You don't have to do it if you don't want to, okay? Because it's a big commitment. RIP to that, but hopefully we will finish it one day. <laughs> and now I think we are finished talking about everything that I made in 2022. I'm hoping to do update videos every month of like what I made during that month and some other fun little crochet videos every now and then talking about maybe some projects I want to do in the future, maybe some tutorials, we shall see. But I hope I can at least get this video out to you and share with you what I made this year because I love watching everyone else's videos and I'm like, I have a camera. I could do that so this is me doing that and that is going to be it for today's video gems thank you so so much for watching i really do appreciate you sticking around whilst i ramble on about crochet and if you liked the video then be sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel it'd be amazing to have you here on this new journey we are taking if you don't already come follow me on all of my socials i am jazzy0451 literally everywhere and i will see you next time bye have a good one Look after yourself, drink some water, you know. <laughs> Bye, guys. <laughs>